I wanted to know if you were in the wild and you were looking for water, how would you f- try to find water? The B-side word. Um, wild, looking for water. I was going to say... Downhill? That's oh, smart. So. I like that. Yep. Yeah. Or, 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 or dig. Dig, or dig yeah. Uh, how about you? Look for a tree. Look for a tree? Yeah. And look, look and for uh, Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sent a link in WhatsApp. This is, it's four minutes, but you can sort of, well, I'll explain it to you while you're watching. Okay. While you're watching. So click on the link. Mm-hmm. Um, so I found this through a uh, an interview that uh, Dave Chappelle was ha- happening and he was giving this analogy and stuff, right? About how his career, he used this as an an- analogy for his career and how he said no to the millions that he could have earned if he kept the Dave Chappelle show. But essentially, it's about how this bushman finds water in the bush, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And what he does... He uh, traps a baboon by putting salt in a tree, right? In a tree, in this little hole in the tree where he can get his hand in, but he can't take the salt out and he traps him. And because he's got something that he wants to eat, like the baboon can't go anywhere, right? So the bushman captures the baboon, ties him up to the tree and starts feeding him salt. (laughs) Starts feeding the baboon salt, right? So the baboon keeps eating salt because mm-hmm. he loves salt. And then once the baboon is has enough salt, what it, what happens when you... You need when, water. You need water, right? So he releases the baboon and the bushman follows the baboon to the water. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. That wasn't my <laughs> first thought. <laughs> Where did you even get... Like, but then the how question for me then is... How did he not get How did you find salt? So I don't I know. know. More like I don't know about, e- easy to find water. I don't know about that part. I didn't get salt's easier than water. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I didn't actually ask that. I thought it was just Why genius. Why did he tie <laughs> him to the tree? So he could feed him salt. Oh. Why not just give him like heaps of salt and have him just keep throwing salt at him? Yeah, but how like, do you give him how do you give him salt without putting him on tying him to a tree? Yeah. So like if he got to salt, yeah, he'd true, run true, he'd true. run to his uh, his home. Yeah, but yeah, this, yeah. This way he was feeding the salt, and then. I thought it was pretty genius. I don't know. You gotta be, very, uh, you gotta be um, to do that with a baboon of all animals. Whoo! But did you see the bushman? He's yeah. not wearing sneakers. <laughs> he's not. He's not like you know what I mean. He's not. I thought the, I thought the Air Force Ones. <laughs> he's not from, um, from the it's from the Burbs. He's from like a tribe there, and that's uh, it's pretty like. Is the tribe quite quest? <laughs> I thought it was pretty genius. I like it. How come the other baboons aren't aren't coming to his aid? That's all I want to know. Because he doesn't, he's not screaming for help, is he? Oh, they're not. It's not a chim- chimpanzee. I was getting confused. I was thinking a chimp. What baboons don't like, help each other? <coughs> but baboons don't help each other. I mean, I'm sure they do, but they're not. They're not helping their friend. Or they're like, mm, they're too smart. <laughs> they're like, he got he got trapped. We're not going. <laughs> he's trapped. So how how did he get in, get the b- baboon? But out? look, what do you the mean? The guy has to run so fast to keep up with the baboon at the end. Oh, the babe. Bo- look, he is. The I baboon's understand, like- but like, did you see his feet? He hasn't got Air Force. He's used to running. No, I know. This is not like, I know for us, we feel like. fast, is it? Is it? I don't know. He looks like he's doing a fast jog. Oh, it looked like the monkey just like. Yeah, the monkey's going super, looks like the monkey going super quick. Oh, he's got there's little a legs. heap of water in a cave. All right, so now we know what to do. <laughs> Bring some salt. Bring those salt packets. Make sure we got salt packets. <laughs> Put them in the tree. So how did how did um? So Dave Chappelle was his. What was his analogy? Why he didn't do the Dave Chappelle show? Is he um, saying like you're better off taking salt than water to a? Uh... Um, actually, I didn't pay attention to it <laughs> because <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't. If you have a chance, if you have a chance, Find right, out for you. look up on um, Google about uh, Bushman, <laughs> like type in Bushman, um, uh, baboon and salt. And actually the third video down is the um, Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle talking about his um, career. Dave Chappelle, the baboon story. Bushman, baboon, and salt uh, yeah. at the same time. Just put no. Bushman okay. and Dave I, I, Chappelle. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Up. I'm seeing this baboon move right now. Yeah. I ain't keeping up with 
Um, well, maybe you have to tie a massive piece of string on that baboon, so when it goes, yeah. you could just follow the string. Like, How the hell they came up with this? I mean, it's very elaborate. I mean, through observation. He had to trap the baboon's hand in a tree. <laughs> like, how? Like, <laughs> wow. How, do you, how did he get the baboon's hand out of the tree? He just pulled it, I think. Did I he? No, he, so he would have showed the other salt on the, other, on the tree. He goes, I got more salt. Yeah, but the baboon's hand was stuck because no, he was baboon, trying to get out. The baboon could get his own hand out, and then he walked over and pulled the baboon's hand out. But I mean, I guess if he he built the hole in the first place, he could just make the hole bigger. But in yeah. that video, he didn't. He just pulled his hand he out. Maybe he tugged it harder. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Poor cool. I like that. Hmm. Mm. That was that's very clever. Yeah. Very, very clever. So clever. I liked it. But not unsurprisingly clever, if you know what I mean. Like, yes, yes. I was just intrigued. Like, I saw it. I was like, wow, that's clever. But I was more intrigued. There, I was there'd like, be so wow. many tricks you would learn from like, Bushmen. tribes and yeah. Bushmen. That, that, they'd have so many of these, I'd imagine. Yeah. I don't know why, but you know Bear Grylls, when I see him do stuff, I'm like less impressed. But when I see a native do it, I'm like, oh, that's, that's mad. <laughs> that's mad respect. I I, I like a little Bear Grylls. Bit in that case. No, I'm picking on the poor white guy. Nah, because <laughs> Bear Grylls has got like rich white guy. He's got um, a lot of the modern necessity, like modern stuff. Well, whereas the mm, Bushman, like ones. Bushman just used the whatever's around him, like salt. Yeah, and I guess like the other thing is the people like if you like, if you come from places where we come from, you practice this stuff in like the comfort of knowing yeah. if it goes wrong you do something else right but this is like purely born out of necessity yeah, like, yeah. if you don't do yeah. this you die yeah you know so if you get it right like you try 10 of the tricks if none of them work you're like oh never mind you try the 11th if it works you're like oh look what i can do yeah yeah but but you would have been dead by that point if you were actually in the water <laughs> yeah you would have <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? it's like trying card tricks and then showing me i'm like i just know you practice that for years that's yeah. not the, <laughs> <laughs> the practice part's the impressive thing you know yeah the consistency not of the, the cleverness part. yeah mm. Oh, that's cool. I like that, Dev. Thank you. No worries. That's Good what one. I do. Good mm. one. I just thought it was a monkey's hand. <laughs> <laughs> you want what? got a bad Poor hand in his first year's hell. He couldn't get it out because he was gripping the salt. Because yeah. if you look at that bit yeah. there, his hand, when his hand's like that, it's too big to get out. Do you remember mm. the, uh, the Simpsons? And you see how Homer got his hand trapped up in the vending machine, right? And they, they were like, they had the fireman come, right? And they're like, so we're going to have to cut off your arm, right? And they go, no, 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 don't do that, whatever, right? Anyways, they have a discussion and they go back to Homer and they say, Homer, so are you holding on to the packet of chips? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, can you release the packet of chips? And as soon as he <laughs> released it, he could take his hand <laughs> out of the machine. It was the same. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 